Now there are two ways you can schedule a patient's appointment. You can either go right to the scheduler and schedule the appointment, or you can open up the patient and schedule from the patient demographics. We'll show you the first way here. We'll pull up a patient. And then down below, just of course type in the first couple letters of the patient's last name and hit the tab key. And I got a couple with the last name beginning with BR. I'm going to go with Josh Bracken and double click on his name. And you see this button right here? Looks like a calendar, doesn't it? In fact, it looks a lot like this button right here, which is the appointment scheduler. Well, they're both buttons that will take you right to the scheduler. Only when you go to the scheduler, you need a patient. And if you click it while the patient's up in the patient demographics, this button here, it'll actually pull his name over to the scheduler so we don't have to pull him up, and then we can just schedule him. For example, let me click on the button here. And you can see here in the appointment scheduler, it's divided into two sections. The top section has the patient's information. You can see his name, Josh Bracken, including the doctor, his default providers, Dr. Rice, and his primary insurance. And in the bottom section is a calendar for each doctor. And you can see I've got one for Dr. Smith, Jones, Green, etc. And then down at the bottom for extra calendars, I got another tab. I click on the rooms tab. Let's say these rooms are for massage therapy. Um, apparently those are open so we can schedule any patient for a massage here. But I'm going to go back to the providers tab here. And all I have to do is left click in an open time slot to make an appointment for Josh Bracken. Now that's the first way of doing it is from the patient demographics. And you can see down below I still have the patient demographics open when I click on his button. And there we go. So I'm going to close out of both now, the patient demographics and the scheduler, and show you a second way of doing it. Just going right to the scheduler by clicking on the appointments button. Now because I went right to the scheduler, it's not pulling out the patient because whereas I'm coming from the patient demographics with the patient, his name would already be populated there. So I'll just have to pull him back up again, typing in the first couple letters of the patient's last name and hitting the tab key here. And there's Josh Bracken. I'll double click on his name. And there we go. Now we have his information up at the top so we can find the doctor down below, which is Dr. Rice, and left click on an open time slot. And before we do that, I'm going to give you a, a quick overview of what we got going here. You can see I already have scheduled quite a few appointments already, and I can just hover over them to get more information. Like the appointment type for John Adams here is eye surgery, and it's got about 45-minute duration appointment here. And each doctor, of course, has their own different incremental time slots of every 15 minutes for Rice, and Dr. Green is every 10 minutes. And you can see Dr. Jones isn't in today, so his is all grayed out. And then Dr. Rice has a lunch blocked out from 10 to noon. And then down below, he's got a hold time saying from noon all the way down to about 4 o'clock. He only wants us to schedule new patients here. There's none scheduled. He has it held in a yellow color that says new patients. So we want to left click there and make an appointment for whoever we have up at the top, which in this case is Josh Bracken. Now, the thing about this is, is for the hold slots, the block times, and the times that, that they're grayed out where the doctor isn't in, those are visual cues for the front office not to schedule patients there or to schedule sh certain types of appointments, new patients only. It doesn't prevent you from scheduling any appointment type you want. In this case here, for new patients, you could schedule a procedure or follow-up. It just means, please, only schedule new patients. And of course, for block times and days that they're out, you could still schedule over it. But again, it's just a cue to say, please don't. Okay. So I'm going to scroll back to the top here. And let's go ahead and find an open time slot and left click to schedule Josh. Now you can see I've got double booking here and the way to double or triple or quadruple book is to left click in that little white space to the right of um, any appointments that are already scheduled there to, well, make another appointment. But let's do this, another double book next to Adams here and make an appointment for Josh. So I left click on make an appointment. It says I'm creating an appointment in the past. Are you okay with this? I'm like, yes. And the first thing we want to do is what type of appointment is Josh being seen for? Let's say it's eye surgery. So I can either select it and click on the arrow to move it over and select it and click on the arrow to move it back or easier for me is to double click and it automatically pulls it over including the color of the appointment and the number of minutes. And I can change the defaults if I want. Let's say it's 60 and continue moving on. And usually with each appointment type it will have its own instruction that automatically pulls over. If it doesn't then you can set it up or you can just double click on the instruction here fasting and it moves it over and it gives us the description that please tell the patient to fast for 24 hours and then you can type in additional comments also no water or drinks now these two notes here are just for the front office to remind the patient it's nothing that's going to print out as a reminder for the patient 
And then finally, to keep it simple here, at least on this setup, we can select the referring doctor, even if it, there's just one doctor there, and it's the doctor who is the default provider for Josh, which is Dr. Rice, it will pull to the report. So that's why we always want to select um, who the referral is, even if it's just the default doctor here for um, Josh. And then we click OK. It tells us that this appointment's overlapping with another appointment. Are we OK with double booking? I'm going to say yes and click OK. And there we go. Just hover over it, and then we can get the appointment type, fasting, and then also please no water or drinks with this before you come in for eye surgery. Now, if I made a mistake and I didn't mean to select eye surgery, or maybe it's changed for some reason, you can always left-click on that appointment and select Edit. Of course, you've got a slew of options here, and we'll go over those, but first let's edit the appointment and say it's a different appointment type. And instead of eye surgery, you double click on to remove it, and we'll say it's a, an exam here. Changes the color, maybe it's 45 minutes. We don't want them to fast, and we just won't add any comments and delete those. And then be sure the default provider is selected and then click OK. And there we go, the appointment type has been changed. And we hover over it to get a little bit more information. Now there are a few other things I want to show you when you're editing the appointment. Let me left click and go back to edit. First of all, let's take a look at the episode. All that means is that if the patient is being seen for more than one appointment type at the same time, we want to create an episode. To break it down just a little bit more, when a patient is seen for a standard visit, a basic visit, the billing will default, will default to the information in the patient's demographics, like their financial class and insurance info. And what is their basic information? Well, if I click and drag this out of the way, you'll see that it's going to default to their primary insurance carrier, which is Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and their financial class is also Blue Cross. So let's pretend in this case that he wants to not only be seen for a cough or a cold here, but he also had an injury, an auto injury, and his insurance is GEICO, and he wants his right arm to be checked because maybe he mashed it up pretty good. So what we want to do is we want to create one appointment, which we have, and you can see behind us, again, that's one appointment for Josh, but at the same time, he wants to be seen for a different appointment type involving his um, auto accident. So because we're using a second insurance here, if he wants to be seen at the same time, then we need to set up another episode. For example, we'll go ahead and we'll click on the episode button. And you can see here by default, standard is just pulling his basic insurance, his primary carrier, um, along with his financial class, Blue Cross. But he also wants to be seen, again, for a different type of episode for his auto accident. So we click clear, and then we just type in the description. We could call it auto. And then maybe his insurance is GEICO. Maybe you want to type in GEICO or just leave it as auto. Now his insurance order, because we only have primary set up, we need to go back into the patient demographics for Josh and set up his auto insurance. So if I delete this, number one, and I click on the ellipsis button, you'll see here we only have the first one set up Blue Cross Blue Shield. So what I'm going to do is close out of here, and then I'm going to quickly set up his insurance. So if you'll be patient, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. And what I did is I set up the insurance, GEICO, for his auto insurance, and then what we're going to do is going to set it up here. So if you haven't watched the training video on patient demographics to set up the insurance, you want to do that. So again, I'm back here. I click clear, and I'm going to type in, say it's auto. And then what I want to do is I want to delete number one because I don't want to bill as primary, which is Blue Cross, but click on the ellipsis button here. And there you can see it down below is GEICO. So up here, I'm going to type in two and click OK. So now it's going to be GEICO for this type of appointment for auto. And then again, Blue Cross Blue Shield, we don't want it to be the financial class. So I'll delete it, and I'll click on the ellipsis button. And I'm going to select GEICO here and double click on it. Now, is the responsible party still going to be Josh? Well, of course, unless I want to change it on this one. And then the main provider here is going to be Dr. Rice. That's great. When I'm finished, I'll be sure to save my work here. And then now I have two. I have auto and standard. So standard is going to be any basic type of visit where, of course, auto is going to be for any auto injury where he wants to build his car insurance. So I'm going to close out of this. And there you go. You see the episode right there? It's now changed to auto. So if I go ahead and leave it at this and click OK, then this appointment right here is going to be billing his auto. But instead, I'm going to click Cancel because this appointment type is going to be an exam. It's got nothing to do with his car insurance or his arm that's being injured. What I have to do is two things. First of all, I have to set up an episode saying, look, I want you to bill a different insurance, but I also want to set him up to see the doctor for another appointment at the same time, because this one's going to bill for his Blue Cross Blue Shield, so I want to left-click next to Josh Bracken in that available space there and make another appointment. Now, in this appointment, we'll say it's going to be 
well, we'll say it's a procedure. We'll double click on that. And then down below, you see how it says standard? No, because we want to bill as auto insurance. So what I'm doing is I'm saying, look, I'm going to create two appointments. One's going to be for the basic visit. Another one's going to be for his car insurance at the same time. And they're going to generate two separate claims. This one's going to bill his auto insurance. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So this one in red, the procedure is going to bill his auto for a claim specifically for the procedure that the doctor's seeing him for, which is going to be for his right arm. And then this one is going to be for the basic, maybe he has a cough or a cold, and it's going to bill his normal insurance carrier Blue Cross Blue Shield. So to recap real quick to summarize this, if a patient wants to be seen at the same time for a different type of appointment that's going to bill another type of insurance, you want to do two things. Set up the episode so it's going to bill that other insurance by clicking on the episode button okay and then the second thing is you want to make sure you schedule another appointment type to include that episode that you just created so you have your standard right here and then you have the other episode for auto so I'm gonna go back on one of these appointment types and left click and go to edit and we want to cover a few more things real quick let's talk about the referral button if the referral down below isn't Dr. Rice in other words if the referring physician is not the provider Dr. Rice you either want to click on the referral button to set up a new referral or click on the ellipsis button to search for one that's already in the system. Now if you watch the patient demographics training video, specifically the video that says referrals, you'll understand how to set up a referral. This is another screen that you could set up a referral. But real quick I'll click on the referral button. See and if you watch the training video on setting up referrals and patient demographics, it's the same screen. You just click on the ellipsis button, choose the doctor, the reason, and of course all the information that I'm not going to cover, but let you watch that training video on referrals. And then of course when you're done, you want to be sure to save your work. And I'm going to close out. If a referral plan from another doctor has already been set up, you can search for it by clicking on the ellipsis button. And let's say it's Dr. Jones, so we can double click on Dr. Jones here. And it automatically adds it down below here and his is highlighted and you can see that it was partially set up in Dr. Jones it was created on March 29th to June 27th so what I could do is even though I don't have the authorization number or numbers used set up you can click OK schedule the appointment go back into the patient demographics and update the referrals tab with more information if you have it